Hello, my name is Neil Mullinger. I'm the Product Manager for Verification IP here at Synopsys and I'm here with Bernie DeLay who's our Director of R&D for Verification IP. And today's subject is specification-based functional coverage. Uh, our Verification IP includes verification plans and it also includes built-in functional coverage. And Bernie's going to talk about how we tie these two things together so that you always know how far you are on the road to compliance. Great, thanks Neil. Okay, as Neil said, I'm going to talk a little bit about what we provide both for functional coverage and from a verification plan point of view. So if you look at your typical approach to doing verification, you need to have some mechanism, some means to correlate the functional coverage you're getting back to the specification. In addition, it's important that you're doing that for a particular configuration because you're probably doing a particular configuration for your particular design here. So let's step back and look at that to begin with with your actual functional coverage implementation. And that means that you basically need to have configuration-aware functional coverage. So what do I mean by configuration-aware functional coverage? So let's say, you know, at the very gross level, in the case of USB, you have a host versus device. Okay, so that's pretty easy. I have to have some functional coverage that's only a host or device based. Maybe it's UTMI versus ULPI. I have to narrow it down further. You know, maybe I have a specific uh, sub configuration for my endpoints that narrows it down further. So when you implement your functional coverage, you want to make sure it understands that particular configuration because you don't want to have false holes for configurations that don't really pertain to you. Okay, you only want to have the configuration covered that is applicable to your actual design under test. So our actual functional coverage then is uh, made to accommodate that, to narrow down that uh, functional coverage based on your configuration. We provide several different types of configuration or VIP. We provide toggle coverage, you know, state coverage, transaction coverage. Uh, you probably have cross coverage out there, crossing various transactions or maybe transactions with air conditions. And in the case of a protocol like uh, ACE um, out there, you probably have things like cache state coverage that also apply. So the base functional coverage for the VIP is implemented to, to have all that particular functional coverage that you have for your protocol out there. Now you have that coverage, you've ran your stimulus, you need some way now to map that back to the protocol specification. Okay? So that's where a verification plan comes into place. So basically a verification plan will map a protocol spec to a particular functional coverage point. Okay? We deliver with our VIP two different things. We deliver uh, an XLS, an Excel file, uh, if you will, that's human readable that shows that mapping that is being shown down here. So basically you'd have the protocol spec uh, paragraph or section number on the left hand side. You'd have your functional coverage on the right hand side. And now I can relate this functional coverage group is associated with this particular uh, point in the protocol specification. So I have a one-to-one -one mapping. We also deliver an HVP file that is consistent and being used with our Verde platform and its coverage based GUI out there too. So we supply both different formats out there. The XLS is nice even if you aren't uh, using Verde since it gives you that visualization. If you, in addition, if you're using a VCS verification planner, you can back annotate your results from your simulation. So basically, if I have a simulation run where it's showing um, hitting a certain percentage of the functional coverage group, I can back annotate those results so I'll see my percentages. They'll all be nicely highlighted with, you know, hopefully not too much red, hopefully more green. But if you have red, that's holes in your functional coverage. And you can now correlate where those holes are with respect to the functional coverage and also with the protocol specification. So I can now have a complete closure from my actual simulation run into my functional coverage back to the specification. Each one of the VIPs supply a verification plan. So if I have USB and AXI, maybe it's an SOC also with PCI Express, each one of those has their own individual plans. In the case of your SOC plan, then you use those as sub-plans, if you will, that are pulled into your top-level plan. And again, if you're using back annotation, all that rolls up real nicely for you with VCS Verification Planner to actually show the overall results for the whole SOC. Even if you aren't using VCS Verification Planner, the Verification Plan XLS is nice because that actually shows you how the functional coverage groups and implementation map back to your protocol specification because ultimately that's what you're trying to figure out. Did I cover the spec? Okay, and how do you achieve that? For more information, go to synopsis.com slash VIP. Thank you.